hopefully things are nice and good. These are the shorts I ordered. Nope. Wrong one. You're looking at that, I'm going to quickly pop up with beverage. I found my notes. Woo! Are you able to find it? What? Oh, I already posted oh. the picture. Oh, really? Where? I'm seeing the one picture, but I thought you were posting another picture. Oh, it's just taking its moment to load. Gotcha. There it is. There it is. Gonna fjord it all over the place. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we should play some good Dungeons and Dragons. What do you think? I agree. Hey, everybody! Welcome to Bears and Dragons, where a bunch of nerdy ass bears sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons. That's probably one of the most clear-sounding uh, ones I've heard. We cut out That's sometimes. Right. All right. Uh, so previously on Bears of Dragons, uh, uh, the uh, dungeon master forgot to uh, export the last week's video. Uh, but uh, what happened? Not much, right? Some exploring and tunnels, killing of bugs, finding some fu uh, myconids that were crazy. Some fun guys. Really <laughs> misunderstood. They're just really misunderstood. Um, and then, not yet finding an egg, we decided to call it a night and head back to the lair. Oh, and then talk to Thumberchar to see if he had any intel, which Crad went and did for everyone, and he didn't have any information. No, he he didn't. All right. So y'all got a long rest. Wake up in the morning. The usual. Uh, a warm fungus is uh, uh, sleeping with Karad. A uh, big old orc wakes up next to Laster. Syra. Nobody knows, but doesn't wake up pretty. Every morning he's crossing his mushroom head. Nope. <laughs> able to get up, maybe order some breakfast. I am going to go down to the bar and just quietly order a water. Bartender looks at you like, oh, water today. I'm changing yep. it up a bit. Gives you, gives you a 
uh, a mug of water. They only really have mugs. They don't really have your glasses. <laughs> no, not your glasses. <laughs> Got to keep the liver on edge, right? Yeah. Uh, I I've decided to give up alcohol. Um, I think this day, or this day, whatever. Fast forward one hour later, drunk as a skunk. <laughs> I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, you, you have some faith. No. Believing is seeing, seeing is believing. I'll prove that, it. That's my faith. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'll take <laughs> off the necklace. And All right, roll me a my... roll me a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, you you blink have to blink a couple times uh, as the room seems to be spinning just a little bit. A little bit of a headache. Oh, not bad. Water is probably a good idea. This is so bad. We'll just be miserable, miserable for the whole day. Yeah, it's just a little throb. Uh, not as bad of a hangover as you've you've had before, but it seems a little hungover. So just sit on one of the benches. Uh, while holding his head, or we'll drink some water. Have you seen Syra yet? No, she hasn't come down yet. <sighs> no, she, if you if you were to press her ear against the door, you can hear her kind of rustling around. And... That's an invasion of privacy. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> this group, oh, you were. These crowds not. I'm not sure about others. There's only one person who has seen Syra in her natural element. But then quotes. Holly, right? That was Holly, yeah. Syra once. <laughs> Beach episode. So so uh yeah, Holly was a. Uh, Holly, like, already knows what's going on. It's just like, yeah, whatever. This is Percy folk. But for some reason, Holly always wakes up with gorgeous hair. She has flowing locks. Yeah, it's true. It's like, it's as if she, her hair was like water. Uh, um, DM, did we ever get any information out of Budito down in the caves or wherever we, we were? I thought he was dark crazy and I snapped his neck like a rag doll. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Okay. I was uh, uh, well, you did have that he seemed to have delusions of being some sort of god. Yeah, you did. You did talk to him before his neck was snapped. Curious about some god he died. Curious about that ghost guy that we met down there. Um, said that he was killed by a guy named Butito. Uh, we were adventuring with a Butito. Um, Are we the same one? Yeah, it sounds like the same one. <laughs> but. I don't understand why he's going. He was going around just ganking people on sacrifices, day. appeasing the god that he thought he was. He's crazy. Who the f knows? Uh, usually, there's a bigger purpose, but he might Is have there... been crazy. <laughs> That's the bigger purpose. He was lunatic. 
say now Sarah's ready beautifying herself and she'll come up to join the rest of you. Morning. Oh, good morning. Did you sleep? You look outside, it's it's like dark out with the like lanterns lit. Talking. I mean that's that's what they say is the time of day anyway. Who could tell anymore? What's what's the plan for today? Hmm? Was it? I don't feel mm. like we explored all those tunnels. Well, we didn't what? ask Karad about seeing uh, Thumbershot, did we? Well, I know we did because I did all that, and I was in the morning after our long rest. So would have came like came back, told y'all Thumbershot. Didn't have any information. Nothing new. Well, I'm stumped. <laughs> Down caves, I guess? Uh, maybe we missed something? I would definitely say you know that you haven't explored everything. Uh, just a reminder, uh, Pelic, the ghost, uh, had mentioned uh, if he could take a part of his and get it uh, buried, he might be able to rest and put a, a ghost to rest. The You weren't able to find any parts of him to, to bury for him, but he did mention that uh, his hand, with an obsidian ring, uh, did wander off. I hate when that happens. Yep. Uh, anyone have anything to s detect, like, the dead? I can speak with the dead. What do they usually say? Deadly things. <laughs> Mostly oh, just okay. silence. Just like that. Just nothing. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything in my shelter that can help. Nope. Yeah, I'll we'll just have to. From the stone speaker's crystal, speak with dead plants and animals. I got spell magic, counter spell. Ah, actually, you have speak with plants and animals? Yeah. Well, you could ask the mushrooms if they seen a hand wandering around. <laughs> How well does that work? I mean, they're everywhere. They would have seen everything. When is it too late to, uh... Yeah, it's too late. Uh, um, I have tech you one good that which can detect undead, but it, I'm already weak. Well, the thing is, for clerics, you prepare spells, in the morning after you wake up so you could say you haven't prepared your spells yet and prepare your spells before you leave the lair i'd be okay with that you have a conversation with people being hey what what are likely things that we may need to be able to do and then you can decide in your spells they can only tell you about things that have happened within the past day. But to speak with plants. You can question plants about events in the spell's area within the past day, gaining information about creatures that have passed, weather, and other circumstances. Well, this thing's been wandering around. I mean, 
something or has had to have seen it at some point. Yeah, I see. I'm able to cast that three times a day. Damn it, Gold the Dead is a cantrip. Yep. Well, since we've hit a dead end with the egg, I mean, at least we know this hand is somewhere down in the uh, in the caves. I guess we can look for it too. Well, I guess back to the caves we go. I hope. Okay, I'll be lunking. Okay, one second. So back to the way through um, the Dark Lake District, I'm guessing. Probably the best best option. For ten minutes, I can detect undead um, thirty feet from me. With a spell slot or a ritual? Oh. I don't know. I don't know if it can be ritual cast. It'll have an indicator in it. It'll have R next to the spell name. Oh. No. It says detect magic spell. Ritual cast, but it has to be real good, not that. Well, you, you just have to remember. Oh, no, okay. Yeah. Detect magic can be ritually cast. Detect good and evil cannot. I can cast it four times. Did he mention how long ago? It lasts a while. Off? Huh? Uh, let's see. Um, I don't think he did. Take a look here. Oh. Uh, probably a few days ago. If we went, if we went back to where he was, and did a more thorough investigation, could we find of like, I would assume like his hand like was, thing from Adam's family, and just kind of like, get her around, and find like tracks of that. And certainly try. I've heard that before. You get, get some of that um, fingerprint dust stuff. You can scatter it around. All right. Um, um, we decided her name was Rebecca, I think. Yeah, Rebecca. <laughs> um, get me a drink, drink of water to go. Fill my flask if you need to. Give me a flask. Give it to her. Okay, she fills that up. Gives it back to you. Thank you. I drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I drink your milkshake. All right, so back to the world center. Back to the tunnels. Yes. Okay. Um, we'll take the non-dangerous way. Wait. The non-spider infection. Yeah, put you put you where you come out of from that. Has anything changed here since we we were here? Nope, still looks like the Grey Ghost Lair. Nothing really seems to be... Doesn't look like anybody ransacked it or anything. Okay. So, <clears throat> I know uh, we stopped at that one place that uh, we had... We were saying to just go south and not go north. But maybe we should go north this time. I'm 
going for it. I can't remember why we just were deciding not to go north, but. Oh, I know there was a creature at some point going up north. Well, hell, we can split up. Um, it's, that's not. <laughs> oh, are, are we going to the door? The door is barred. You can easily lift it up and unlock the door inside. The door does not open from the side. All right, so we've been through all that. We could just remount. Well, there's a path here that we haven't taken yet. And then there's part of this all the way up here, northwest, we haven't been to yet. Alright. So. Are we gonna look north, west, or Let's get to about here and see what's there. And then we can decide from there. Go west, young man. I said west. I said, I'm sorry. I said east. <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, nope. Uh, that's like saying left when you want to go right. <laughs> Happens. So at this crossroads, we've been south and west-ish. Um, perception to hear or see anything? Uh, sure. Oh, my bad. Crad um... doesn't hear shit. Oh, let's see here. What do you hear? Uh, you hear the sounds of wind, of kind of like the uh, air flowing through the tunnels, but that's about it. Dripping of. Are we trying to get to where we found the ghost? I think we're just exploring. Okay. Let's try this way. This is unmarked as far as we know. Go north. Keeping, in, keeping my ears perked up for any noises or sudden movements. Now, are you are you trying to go quickly at a fast pace, uh, just a regular pace, or are you trying to go slowly to try to at least get some stealth in? Uh, it's stealth. Yeah. Plus, yeah, I want to sure. get through this quickly. Yeah, might have somewhere to go, I guess. Somewhere to be. Oh. Uh, that's... i say normal pace. Alright. Not trying to necessarily purposely be stealthy, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Famous last words. There's nothing dangerous down here. So 
onto a mushroom infested area. Uh, let's see. Oh, you came in actually back way because this Is area where the you see uh, some carcasses of some uh, rotting uh, dead bears and a couple of dead darrow. Investigate to see what killed them. Uh, it was you. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. You look at it and be like, hmm, this seems familiar. <laughs> Us. <laughs> That's what's oh, yeah, it's up. this pointy thing with a burn mark in it. <laughs> well, you as in the party, not not necessarily specifically you necessarily. I don't remember the, the full fight. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember. My, this looks like my handiwork. Uh, oh, so here we are. Is the door? Is there a thing in there? Um, you try the door and it's uh, unlocked. It's unlocked? Yes. Uh, slowly, carefully peek, open it. Uh, roll me a d20. Ooh, oh, no. Okay. You're able to open it with nary a sound. The nariest of sounds. Yeah. You're like... <laughs> It's like a little sound, but nothing that carries through the tunnels. Uh, looking around everywhere, just looking for signs or seeing if anyone's any signs of people traveling through here recently. Uh, give me a perception check. A lowly eight. Uh, Lasser, do you do kind of notice a few uh, footprints? Uh, they seem to be Darrow sized. Some of them have uh, started fading, but uh, they're still, you're, you're still able to make them out. Um, the people that were down here. Were they Duro? They were Duro. Uh, I could be wrong, but this might. But there were some. There was some Durgar in here too. So. Oh, I don't know. Uh, but I do see footprints, so be wary. Could we stealth? Why? No. I'd say so, since we found some footprints, just in case. Stealth. Well, maybe stealth check. I'm afraid. No. Holly, not the good. And it, it, Gage did better, and he has disadvantage. There we go. Okay. That took hey. a while for some reason. Um, Okay. Everybody else going with Lasser or Lasser going by himself? Oh, I thought you were checking something. Yeah, I checked it. You're fine. Okay. I didn't want to All right. 
So you see a cavern, uh, a, a cavern. Uh, it, this cavern is one enormous pit that reeks of death and decomposed flesh. The low Pharaoh's res is everywhere, seeming to flow from like fog through dark shapes shambling across the pit floor. A single Darrow watches from atop a 15-foot ledge. A crack in the southeast wall of the pit leads to a narrow tunnel and is flanked by mounds of fungi and offal. Technically, where I'm currently standing, I shouldn't be able to see him, but... Yeah, 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 kinda. Kinda, 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 kinda. Do they... do they... oh, god, okay. They're dead, aren't they? We move up here. I mean, really, from where you are, you could probably see... You more just see a single Darrow looking over a pit. Probably can't necessarily see what's in it. Just because the pit has a... There's a drop. About 15 oh, foot drop. So. From where you are, you probably can't see into the pit. You could just see over it. This okay. might sound stupid, but... Does it look like he's actively searching for something down there? Or just keeping watch? Or... Uh, it seems like he's just keeping watch. I'm gonna just go in a little bit, like, in the, um, on this corner, trying my best to not let these guys... Are you, are you Scooby doing, doing it? Just kind of, like, peeking around the corner? Yeah. Okay. Oh, ourselves Let's see. What can I do? he doesn't seem to notice that you're there they haven't they are wrong I didn't. that's all you really can see right now you just kind of see some something shuffling through a pile of digger of something all this is black. I I can't see anything. Um, like, doo -doo -doo. yeah, the other way is just another hall. Another hall. Um, could I try to stealth over here? Sure. Let me stealth check. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll wave over to the others to um, follow, follow me if you want. Give a little peek around the corner to see if he's looking. And go stealth along. Uh oh. <laughs> Age will be following you. Uh -oh. All right, so Gage uh, uh, starts moving, and he seems to be a little loud, and he hears some <laughs> noises, but the dare kind of tilts his head while looking down in the pit, and goes, shrugs. Okay. It doesn't seem to notice anything. I'm going to catch up the Lassiter and Karad and get closer. I could do that that arcane eye trick again and, and kind of see what he's looking looking at if we're curious. Um, 
Okay. As, as long as we don't have to stay, like, right here, I, I'm kind of feeling uh, pinched in. I'm just going to go around the corner here. Uh, just, I guess, give a look to see if there's nothing immediately around us. Uh, give me a perception check. Around the corner, down where you came, you hear some. That's about it. And as quietly as she can, she will cast her arcane eye. Okay. I'm gonna eat some jerky. Are you not getting the uh things? Let me try it. Let me try it if I do it. Actually, no, let me just adjust it to it. Running. Dark vision. How, how far is the uh dark vision for him? 60? The arcane eye is dark vision, normal vision, 30 feet. I'll be just keeping a lookout around this corner. Make sure okay. nothing's coming towards us. Okay. Have to go up here. Get to the pit. And, oh. What do I see? You see. They actually show up properly. Uh, no, it's a generic thing. Uh, do I have you see zombie version a uh, few zombie versions of this as well as some some Durgar zombies you'll see Sarah kind of like concentrating on her spell and then kind of give a, a quiet gasp like <gasps> there's there's a, a collection of undead in the in the pits, just, just shambling around. I wonder why he's keeping watch of these things. Get to the corner. Oh, there's a little path. Look at that. And it gets narrow. <laughs> and it goes to a dead end. Uh, do I see anything else of note in this pit? Uh, you do see mounds of fungi and offal. And I'll pass back, pass for a friend here. Does he look like he's infected with this fungus, like we saw earlier? Nope, he looks like a normal Darrow. He has a crossbow in hand. So I will relay that to the group. I, I don't understand why he's keeping watch of these things. He seems like a normal Darrow. It's just... How, how strange. Um, uh, was there anything of interest? Just a collection of fungus and... and I mean, other than the, <laughs> the walking dead. Limblocks and Duogar. Could we maybe take them out? I, I know they seem like they're not doing anything, but undead under a city isn't necessarily a good thing. Actually, Syra, roll me a perception check. Okay. Undead near a city. Right. So, yeah. one of the things you do see is that the mounds of awful uh did seem to twitch as if something was underneath some of the bits of meat yeah 
There was some strange twitching under the offal. I just... I mean... I do see your point. There's a, a group of undead underneath this population of people. Um, from when I hovered over with my eyes, once we go down this pit, are we going to get stuck down there? Uh, well, there is... I mean, it's 15 feet, so you could easily... You could climb up and down and maybe take an athletic check to, to do it, but mechanically speaking. But other than that, uh, uh, there is the egress of the uh, little tunnel near some of the fungi. I hate to, I, I'm almost to test the, this, the ass, but what if we, hmm, just, what if we pushed him down to kind of distract the undead against him? Push him down? Uh, is it to this some zombie? I mean, he himself isn't, as far as I can tell. But it's so I heard you say that. Um, no, I was I was checking to see if he was, but yeah, he just looks like your normal Daryl. Oh, then maybe we. That's should. why I'm kind of like, because that's why I'm kind of like, eh, <laughs> that's kind of gross, but there's it also might to be controlling them in any way, or uh, as if they are his. He had a crossbow in his hand and was kind of grunting and to himself but i don't think he was the the grunts were more coming from from the zombies the daryl just looked bored he just seemed to be keeping watch over them like i don't understand why he's just standing there okay <clears throat> i now feel like maybe we should knock him out or drag him over somewhere so we can question him. He's up to no good. He's guarding something, keeping watch, and we don't know why. I could try to charm him. All right, but let's uh, take him out first, incapacitate him, and then you can be your thing. Any objections? No, I, I, I think that's better than killing a potential innocent person. From what we can tell, at least. Um, so I'm going to politely ask our bigger folk to uh, take the lead. Holly, could you I, gently knock him out <laughs> gotta do this quick and fast quick and silently <laughs> bludgeon him but not too hard <laughs> Polly takes out her axe and says oh, and, and says flattened what? that would be best All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this easy. Uh, Holly's able to to easily kind of sneak up on him, uh, and kind of taps him on the shoulder. I need Holly to roll me a the largest attack she can make, which I think is uh, rage, reckless, and great weapon master. If I am, remember Holly's abilities, yes. Sir. She's doing it non lethally, the flat of her blade or of her uh, axe. Will she have advantage? Because, like, sneaking up? Yeah, the Dara doesn't uh, realize that she's coming, so with advantage. Well, 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 even if she, if she goes reckless, it's maybe. Yeah. Oh. I will just say this. 
That's... Yeah, 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 that's going to hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Non-lethal. Yeah, that's going to do it. So uh, she just kind of kind of sneak ups and goes, Rawr! The Daryl just kind of like turns around, eyes wide, to see this big old axe crack him across the face. And he falls in the ground unconscious. Run up, <laughs> climb up, and have Holly. And, and then you hear a bunch of noises coming from from the uh, uh, zombies down as the Darrow actually screamed a little, ah! uh, as it happens, and they come towards the wall. Drag him back, drag him back, drag him back. <laughs> Let's stay like around the corner where we were. Here's some some grating against the wall. Are you dragging back? I'm gonna keep like a watch um, for the top of the uh, cliff. Yeah, that's so a good I idea. I say, like, kind of like start tapping him awake, and as he's regaining consciousness, <laughs> on him. Okay. Uh, what is that? It is wisdom save six. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, nope. Uh, he's. Oh, uh, I hurt. What, what? What can I do for you? Pretty. You know I... <laughs> he starts to try and question him as soon as he says that. He's like, oh, well, I do try. <laughs> Distracted all of a sudden, like, oh. But anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, so we were curious about that pit. Well, what's, what's so fascinating about it? Uh, I think it's fascinating. I mean. Just where we throw all the all the lyrics things. Are you you put them there? Uh, I don't. I, I'm just told here to make sure the zombies don't get out. And who who told you to do that? Nerk. And who is that? Uh, he's wizardy guy. As a uh. As a, a ogre, ogre friend, two heads. That's not the ones that we already fought, was it? Yep. Oh. Back, you captured Nurik. That's true. Okay. This is where Nurik puts oh. all of his experiments and dumps in there. Except for some reason, some of the bodies just kind of start animating that's why they had me there make sure they don't get out how long have this has this been happening uh, a while so he just had you stay here this whole time watching them yeah Does he know what his plans are for them? Yeah, I don't know. I think he was just dumping them there. Okay. Is there... So uh, there's no way for them uh, to get out of there once they get put there? I mean, they could climb up. Uh, yeah, um... <laughs> I'll, uh... Eldritch Blast as soon as I see that. Oh, okay, roll attack. <laughs> That's probably the safest way to kill these yeah, things. Yeah, I'll hit. <laughs> Both. Uh, I'll blast again, just in case. Okay. Okay, I'll hit. <laughs> oh, was that a crit? Oh shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um roll again. Uh yeah. Sure. 
There you go. Cool. Does it go back down? Oh. It, yeah, it it's this one's dead. Fuck yeah. Um <clears throat> guys, they're getting up. Well, he's and one more. Our friend here is yeah. tied up. So, go around the corner, see what's going on. Well, technically, my eye is still here, so I can keep an eye on him. Yeah, you see uh, the three of the Grimlock zombies. Uh, you see a dead Zimrock, uh, a Grimlock zombie, uh, but. Uh, three other ones are trying to climb up the wall. Uh... Oh. One gets up. Oh. Okay. Um, unless we're rolling initiative, um, I'll just keep on blasting if Okay, go ahead and go ahead and roll me another attack. Alright, that hits. Oh, okay. That hits. Okay. It blasts off one of its arms, but it keeps moving. It see it doesn't seem it, it seems to be on its Last legs. So I'll come by and poke at him. Oh. Okay. In him. Not in him. <laughs> Getting inside a zombie is probably not a great idea. Um, All right. Okay. So. All right. Uh, hold on. See how much damage. Okay. Seen. All right, he's dead. Uh, uh, it's two of them. Hear them now before all of them get up, or yeah, just take. Well, the other two seem to be having trouble climbing. All right, so well, apparently I'll they're just... gonna make it out eventually. I'll just start blasting them. For okay. Um, I'll just mind sliver. You want me to just keep on rolling? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I'll mind slow. Okay, I'm whopping four damage. Y'all are fucking why. nuts. Uh, nope. Just gonna uh, put that out there. Four. Go okay, go ahead, go ahead and, and roll damage on those last three. Oh. What is your modifier? Uh, oh, yeah. I don't. Oh, plus three. Okay, just checking. Um, that okay. Two were for this here guy. And oh, the, uh, what was the damage? That was four. Okay, so four. Okay, so you got got one of them uh, down pretty low. <sighs> Still coming. Oh, uh, I should roll one, a couple two, more uh, rolls. Uh, one, uh, two. Uh, okay, go ahead. If anyone else has range stuff, that would be nice. Yeah. Like I said, I'm I'm shooting with. Mine slivers. All right. Uh, we'll say the six. That one. Uh, okay. I was like, hold on. All of a sudden, you just hear crap. Okay. Just cry, like cry out, just ah, and then burning hands. All right. Uh, so the one you mind slivered. Uh, uh, it looked like it might have uh done a lot, of, uh, a good portion of damage, but uh, for some reason, it's still up. Okay. So next round, so oh hey, they both get up. Oh, I don't wanna God, I just... go. get up here. Okay. Um hold on. Oh, uh, that's still up. Uh yeah, one of them looks like it's on its last leg, but keeps going. It just keeps going. This one here. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. It's still going. Uh, 
All right, all right. At this point, I, I think we probably should get into an in, in, initiative roll here. Uh, let me pull up the tracker. It's a, a roll for an initiative. We got the zombies. Oh. All right, click. Add turn. Get in line. Uh, let me get Gage on here. Now they're engaging. Ah! Funny. The gauge is probably up here. And. Change the roll. Did my uh, burning hands do anything? Ah, oh, I missed the burning hands. Is that like. Oh, they're still down there. I went out and just like started screaming, just ah. Okay, where was the burning hands? Right before. There the it is. Okay, they got a deck save. Two of them. DC sixteen. Fail. Fail. Um. Uh... Don't save. Okay, this one. Okay, this one's dead now. Uh, so we have one left. Uh, but that took. Uh, where was it? Oh. Actually, they're both dead. <laughs> the burning hands was way too much. Never mind. We didn't need the tracker. I totally missed the thing. That's why. Uh, remove all turns. We don't need that. Okay. It's going to take these zombies off here. There we go. Everybody's everybody's good now. Well, you got three Darrow uh, or three uh, Durgar zombies. But they're in the pit. They don't seem to be paying attention to you. The they they seem to to be aware of your presence. Not doing anything. Brad, like smelling like the burnt, rotting flesh, is literally just gonna like come over here and just hurl. <laughs> so, so come over and. It, it burns a little from from the jerky that's coming back up. Good burn. So hold Good your hair burn. back and tap your back. <laughs> just you just see him just like give a thumbs up. Just <laughs> show off some. She'll press a digitate some something a little sweeter smelling to your nose, kind of vile and half digest digest a devil jerky. Over there, come come over here, away from the from this mess. Ugh. Y'all fucking batshit crazy. Well, perhaps a bit. Crap, I've been muted this whole time. Um, I'm just gonna keep on blasting off Eldritch Blast. At the at the uh. Zombies that are still alive that don't seem to be coming threatening you right now. Yeah, all of yeah. them die. All right. Uh, do you want me to roll or just accept that? Uh, you know what? Uh, we'll just say eventually. It was, it's, they, you, 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 you shoot them and you start firing from the, the edge. Some of them start walking towards you being like, oh, somebody's shooting me. Some of them you think should have died from a couple of your blasts, but uh, uh, they seem to keep going for a little bit. But uh, before they can actually reach the wall, uh, you basically slay them. So now that you said that, the one that was kind of more resistant, does he look any different than a normal one, Deadwood? Roll me a religion check. Religion. Or arcana, whichever is better. Oh, that's fine. 
Uh, undead seem to have an undead fortitude that you're aware of. Uh, so uh, knocking them down to uh, do what's essentially zero hit points, uh, they don't necessarily uh, go down immediately. Uh, instead, instead they'll keep going for a little bit until they get to a point where they don't make their con saves. Okay. Do enough damage and they won't be able to make it. <laughs> uh, I would say looking out, you do see uh, something move uh, amongst the awful and actually kind of like pop out. No, oh, hurts. Getting around. But, uh, uh, is it the hand? Looks like a hand. I'll send my eye down there just to give a confirmation. Right. It's a kind of skittering around looking at the fungus uh, or around the fungus, just kind of around the room, kind of doesn't seem to like really have a direction. Uh, you do notice that there is a dark black ring on one of its fingers. <laughs> You'll see Sarah like, oh, guys, guys, it's down there. The, the, the hand, it, it, it's there, it's there. Um, I'll, I'll go race after it. Um, if I can get down this ledge. All right, roll me an acrobatics check. Down's the easy part, really. It's whether you take damage or not. Okay, so you go to try to to like slide down the uh, uh, side and you just uh, fall face first into the ground uh, taking uh, six points of damage. <laughs> I, uh... Monster, are you okay? <laughs> I'll be fine. It, it was just, it's just a scratch. Just a scratch. I'll, I'll get up. I'll uh, rub my face off. Go chasing after the damn hand. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. She'll, she'll kind of point towards the, uh, the fungus. It's over chasing there, it's after, over there. Chasing after it like a chicken or like a pig. All right, roll me a uh, light hand check. Mm. Oh, damn it! <laughs> Almost in that. So, so, so you, you kind of quickly like try to like like corner, and it's going, <laughs> and then you jump on it, and are able to uh, grab it. So you now are in possession of a. Self-moving hand. I'll I'll lift it up for its um, palm to be facing my face. Just say so, yeah. yeah. Scarf. Um, but I will examine the ring that's on it while also walking back to the group. Uh, it looks like it's made of, uh, obsidian. It, it looks, it, it, you can recognize this as the hand, uh, or the ring that, uh, our, your ghost friend Pelic, uh, Pelic? Pelic, um, had described to you. Did someone want it? Or something? Uh, he just wanted his hand buried, I believe. Right, right. Oh. Yeah, so he can be put to rest. I will remove the ring. Lasser, uh, give me a arcana check. Roll. Natural twenty. So you realize that this hand, uh, you could probably stop this animation just by dispelling some magic. 
It might be easier to carry around if the hand wasn't moving. Yeah. You say anything out loud? Uh, yeah, I, I got the hand. Um, it's not moving. Um, well, it is moving. I'm sorry, yeah. It, it keeps on moving. It's very but it's, it's wiggling in your grasp. It's it's not very strong, so you you can still hold on to it, but yeah, it's like holding a hand. <laughs> um, Karad. Oh, I'm sorry. No, not Karad. You're afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Of, I'm done throwing up. I'm good. Oh, okay. Uh, cast. Make this magic go away. <laughs> Dispel magic. You could have done it far away, I still would have gotten it. It has a range of 120 feet. Okay. Right. All of a sudden, the, the hand moves up smooth. And, um, he became a limp wristed. Oh. I'll hold up the ring um, and just say, I, I don't think she needs this, really. And I'll pocket it. We now have a an obsidian ring. For later. Could sell it. Well, you could check it for magic first. Last year, roll me an athletics check. Oh fuck, I forgot. I'll put my hand down to give you advantage. I hope you. Are. Yep. You can get advantage. Oh, oh jeez. That's not right. <laughs> no, it, 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 no, it's fine. It's it's really a nineteen. <laughs> it, 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 this is one of the weird things that that uh, Beyond Twenty does sometimes, where instead of showing the result of one plus your modifier uh, when you when you do it at an advantage, it will basically just add up your two rolls <laughs> and then add your modifier. But he rolled two seventeen, so it was fine. Yeah. So with with Cyrus help, you're easily able to get up from the ledge. Thank you. And um, you're in possession now. In possession with an obsidian ring and a uh, a hand. We can uh, investigate this ring later. We have a job to do. What about our friend over here? Oh. Uh, well, did he seem like he was doing a bad thing? Well, which, um, one thing? Actually, that lasts, that lasts an hour, so. Hmm. I mean, we can come with us if you want, but, uh. I, I mean, really, he just thinks of you as a good friend. <laughs> For an hour. Yeah. His job is done. He has no more zombies to guard. What do you oh. think he'll do? He's at one hit point. <laughs> so let's say your friends weren't coming back. What would you be doing? What do you mean my friends weren't coming back? You're a friend, right? Well, I mean the wizard and his two-headed friend that put you guarding those zombies. Yeah, you're a great guy. What would you do? I don't know. Probably go back see if they had anything else for me to do. Um, is there anything else you can tell us about about these tunnels? If you've seen, have you possibly seen a giant egg? No, no. I didn't see anything like that. You know, there's a lot of caves in here. Weird stuff. I know we were doing some sort of... They were doing some sort of ritual or something? I don't know. Should we tie them up? Well, he's already tied up, but... 
come back to I mean could you have time you do that kind of sorry uh Bob we can't yet <laughs> Bob I'm not Bob I'm Gerald sorry Gerald we can't yet my name's not Bob it's Gerald <laughs> sorry Steve Excuse me. My name is Richard. <laughs> My name is, is Expendable. I don't know why they call me Expendable. <laughs> I'm just Expendable. My name is Richard. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, we. I don't think we should leave him here, but I also don't think we can leave him alone. Well, he was part of that cult. I just see a roll pop up. Is that just like it? Oh, that was a delayed thing. Okay. Well, what do you you guys think? I think they would know. Right. The prisoner dilemma. At your mercy. I know. That's what makes it worse. <laughs> he didn't I... do anything to us. Personally. <laughs> That's because he didn't see you. <laughs> or notice you at all. Speaking as a player, I say go ahead and kill him. But speaking of Lasseter, <laughs> oh, I oh, I didn't realize I had this. You said he has one hit point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, he had, he had none at one point, but you revised him, so I give him one hit point. So Crad is is gonna go up to him. Mm -hmm. And just be like, you know what, buddy? Just look him deep in the eye. Sleep. How big is that? Hmm? 20 foot sphere. Aimed just right to only include him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he falls asleep. Does that last? One minute. What? One minute. Oh. Un momento, por favor. Un minuto más. So you got six rounds to figure out what you want to, or ten rounds to figure out what you want to do with them. Leave them here. All tied up. One hit point. Drop the death. <laughs> Dehydrate. It might get in about a minute, but I guess the most moral thing would be to just leave him here. But for like the good of the city, it might come bite us back in the ass. <sighs> sure, kind of okay. So, oh, so oh, Gage, Gage will say, so wasn't he part of the cult that that wizard that was creating the two heads yeah, and that's was part of? Sure. And that was not yeah, good for so. the city. She'll pull yeah. out her rapier and just give a quick little give it the back of his head. All right. Easy enough. Not moving. He's prone. You would have had advantage. You wouldn't have to roll very high. Um, search his body just to see if he had anything. Uh, he had a crossbow and some crossbow bolts. Is that it? Uh, actually, let's, 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 let's see if he had any gold on him. Let's, uh, or how much gold he might have. The sheet up? No. 
Let me quickly check something. Let's give you something for being a murder hobo. Uh, roll me a D10. A D what? A D10. Yeah, six. Uh, you find 13 silver pieces on them. Okay. Yeah, and just, she'll just kind of nestle them to the corner here and just, you know, what's done is done. Put him out of his misery. So, up this tunnel, see if there's anything else up here. <laughs> go, my eye, go. Wee. Wee. Anything so far? Um, uh, you do see a, a floating tentacled creature with uh, long eyes. My <laughs> little uh, let, me, let, me, let me put one here. Uh, there we go. Floating around the tunnel. She'll, she'll tell the group, like, oh. I guess what I know what a flump is. There's a there's like a little tentacled creature floating around the tunnels. Let me get a roll uh, an arcana check. Probably be appropriate. Ar arcane. No. No. Uh, no. It's just one of those things you're just not familiar with. Yeah, it's like this, this weird floating tentacled thing. I, I wonder what that is. This... With him describe, uh, Cyrus, Cyrus describing what it is, me being home here, wouldn't I know? Uh, debatable? Well, me and our kind of check. With advantage since I'm from here? Uh, this is, there's no such thing as favorite terrain for a sorcerer. Not favorite and terrain. you're kind of clo cloistered, so straight roll. Meh. Um, you've heard of these creatures. The description seems like it, it's a flump. They, they're kind of weird and they uh, are telepathic. Um, uh, they don't really do anybody any harm. Or anything so the best is boys yeah they're good boys are they safe to approach yes from what i've always been told they're for adventurers they're actually helpful what there might be around, the idea that they around somewhere there is predilection to some bad stuff they, they themselves aren't bad well, let's see what happens Make my way up to it. Follow. Oh, hello. <laughs> One fault uh, floats up to you. Hey, um, what are you, what are you guys doing down here? I mean, uh, have you, have you seen some deer? They're they're doing some weird rituals. Something for the demigorgon and stuff. We, we yes we we were investigating all that ourselves too. We we're we we're wondering what they why they have some sort of dealings with the De Demi Gorgon. Oh, I don't know, but the, they've got some stuff over like back this other ring. Could you could you show us? Sure, follow me. We're also Thanks. looking for a dragon egg if you come by one. Hold on a second, I need to check them. Mm 
Oh, Dragon Lock? Yeah, I, I I thought the song with the the, the little there card. You, you, it's great. That's well. Okay, hold on. Okay, cool. Let's right, see if I can see a. Oh, By the way, this this looks like it's really fast, but this is like taking several minutes. Um, you've probably already been down here for a couple hours. So uh, there, it's it's behind these doors. Yay. Well, uh, I mean, where, where the cultists are? Oh, are, are they? They're in there right now. Yeah. The, the egg is in there, too. But it, it's like all the way around. There's other ways to get get there, but this is probably the fastest if you can get through the doors. What's the other ways around? Well, if, if it goes to the south, and it does kind of look back around, there's a narrow tunnel that goes up. But this is a bigger tunnel. Otherwise, the smaller tunnels are harder to get through. What have, so other than Daryl, what else have you seen come through these doors? Uh, I did see some Duragar. Put my hand up be... to the door yeah. and uh, just try to, do I sense anything? Uh, what are you using to sense? My blood. Oh, um... No, no, you don't quite quite feel anything. Uh, if there if there is anything like if you're uh, trying to attune to to the actual dragon egg, uh, it might be behind too much stuff to really uh, get any sort of sense. Okay. Like you don't know what's behind this door, if it leads directly into a room or a hallway or something like that. Sounds like, sounds like there's a narrow passage that we can eat mushrooms and go through and maybe not have a direct confrontation with them. I can show you where the other, other way is back. Yes, show us, please. That's well. Wee. So sad. Going down. It. Problem problem with this map is uh the trying to actually select the token instead of trying to enlarge it. <laughs> this way. How's this thing woman? Rap. I mean, picked up some pygmy warts along the way. Our heroes. All right, through here. Just go straight up. Look the, that way, and it kind of points with one of its eyes. Are you hungry by chance? Oh, not really. I'm good. Oh, okay, I was gonna give him some food just as a thank you, but. I've actually been feeding off y'all the whole time. <laughs> I've been feeding off the corpses of the dead. <laughs> well, actually, you feed off psychic energy, like, passively feed off as psychic he, energy. He, he, uh, he, he keeps that entirely. Hey, uh, did, you, did you know that for some reason, there's some, some people, when they get a little angry, they cause, cause, like, some of us to just, and then we explode for some reason. I hate those people. He's like, no. 
Yeah, they're like raging barbarians or something. But for <laughs> some reason, they summon us and just cause us to explode. It's 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 blasphemy. But such nice people. <laughs> Looks back at Holly. <laughs> Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. From my understanding is they could summon pixies, and that would be so much better. Pixies are so annoying. Sorry, I was making a reference to a different campaign. <laughs> but they don't actually summon flumps. They summon stuff that's shaped like flumps. It doesn't know that. It's <laughs> <laughs> the bigger... I'm just making this big. Just so I can move this better. <laughs> All right, on that way. Um, and uh, points yes. this way. Is there anything that we can give you as thanks? Uh, no, I think I'm good. I, I, well, if you just take care of this, I'll be happy. I'm just, I'm not a very powerful thing. I just kind of show up in these places. I don't even know why I'm here, but all I know is that it's happening is a bad thing. What's your name? I feel like I'm sorry, what? Uh, just name? call me Ted. Okay. Ted. Yeah, you people can't pronounce our names for some reason. We're weird. You lack the proper organs. Understandable. If you uh, do this, if you succeed, I will be able to go home. Well, that sounds like uh, something that we can do. Uh, she'll give a little bow as, as thanks. Real quick, where are you from? Uh, I'm not from this plane. Okay, that's all I need to know. Okay, enjoy, have fun, don't die. Said this way, right? <laughs> to the left? Don't die. Yep, to the left. To the left, to the left. And you can stop. Gathering steam. Alright. The pitch black of death. No. Alright. Gonna get y'all all over here. Oh, we got okay. Oh, we got a holly. I'm assuming is really taking the four. Uh, we got a Lassiter. Oh, we got a Karad. We got a Syra. Our party of five could all be here. So, what? There we go. After a steady upward, upward climb, the tunnel opens into a huge, well-lit chamber. The glow of ferrous reds and bioluminescent fungi com compete with shafts of white light that fall upon naturally formed shelves along the walls, walls as well as a rocky mesa at the center of the cavern. Rudely formed ramps connect the different levels of the mesa up to the height of a two, of its two topmost tiers which are linked by a sturdy bridge. Atop one of these tiers lies sits a large red egg. Atop the other stands a 50-foot-tall obelisk made of smooth black metal that has a few noticeable imperfections, as though small parts of it were somehow chipped away. Female Darrow stands close to the obelisk, gently patting and stroking its surface. The obelisk flashes once. The glow of fairs res. Around the cavern flares in response. Darrow squeals with glee as he snatches an object up from the ground and writes something down in a small notebook. An object. Um, can we tell what the object looked like? Uh, not from where you are. She'll whisper to Karad, is, is that the egg that you were, that we're looking for? Yes. Right, it, it is. Yep. Nobody can tell. 
How big you is just, it? You see Krog get super serious, just like, yes, that's it. How big is the egg? Um, it's dragon egg sized. <laughs> I think it's like two to three feet large. Are we not supposed to see anything? Oh, uh, you should be able to see things. I see. Hold on, let me let me let me look at your settings. Ooh, that that. What's your uh, night vision distance? One twenty. Question mark. You had a uh, feet, didn't you? Yes, yeah, one twenty. Okay. Anybody else have vision issues? Okay, cool. Here we are. I can see. Oh. Now, is she up or down? She is up. Okay. So, this is down. This is at the same level that you're at. This is up another level. And this is another level. Roger. I got it. We're going to cast speed on you and invisibility. Go. Oh, Roderick's not here. Oh, no. The cheat code is gone. <laughs> um, right. So this is obviously bad. And we should probably do something about it. Oh, we will sneak up to it, or do we want to just all out attack it? Maybe we should try getting as close as possible without her seeing us and then do something. Yeah, so, stealth checks, I guess. <laughs> Looks like a Karak. Right, Karak? Uh, <laughs> How does he do that? Alright. So, uh, Karad, do you have uh, advantage on your spell check? Yeah. Use your spell check. Uh, can I cast Invisibility on um uh K gauge yeah uh sure and use our help in his invisibility I mean uh it it does not oh <laughs> it kind of helps because he's he got a seven <laughs> instead of a four. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't transfer over, but I'm seeing it in the game log uh, on the D&D Beyond, so all that matters. I all right. take that back. I don't have invisibility. Prepared. Yeah. Oh, you don't? Isn't that one of your um, sorcerer or warlock spells? I lied. I see it right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Made you look. If anything... It group wise, you did pretty good. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Snick of snakes. All right. Stop right there. Nope. nope. Stop. <laughs> right there. As you uh, approach. Uh, we're going to have to pull up the turn tracker because a screech goes out as appearing as if out of thin air. A specter appears. Oh, no. Not an inspector. A spectator. No! Oh. Yeah! Uh... I don't know how the spectator screams. Boop, boop. Spectatingly. 
Oop. He just does a Pokemon cry. Spectator. Spectator. Okay. Do I got everybody? I don't know. Gage. Do do. Gage is invisible, and Karad is invisible, right? Yep. Uh, so do you, did you or did you not do invisibility, Lassiter? I just want to care. Yeah. Um, Clarify. I mean, unless you allow me to take that back, I don't mind having an extra. I mean, <laughs> you originally wanted to, so I'm going to say you did, yeah. uh, since you do have it prepared. Uh, I'm just going to uh, mark you with this. Just the mark that you're invisible. Love racial abilities. All right. Uh, uh, Syrah, what's your, your dex? Uh, mod. It is a plus four. Okay. Five. You'll be going before Gage. All right. Time for a little skirmish. You don't have to worry too much about this because there's only two combatants, but hey, there you go. Uh, Karad, all of a sudden, the spectator bursts into existence and starts screaming. Well, assuming yeah. I'm still hidden. Uh -huh. Just going to sneak forward. Dash. And that'll be all. All right. Ollie. Big old eyes is. Within striking definitely distance. Gonna, definitely going to run up here and take a swing. Okay. In a rage? Yeah. Reckless? Uh, first deck saving throw. Wow, okay. Deck save. 14. Just meets it, so take one lightning damage. And then, yes, going to rage recklessly and do great weapon master. Cool. Definitely gonna hit. That'll hit. Yeah, be a 20. That'll hit. And 20 damage. Uh, 20. <laughs> Takes a chunk right out of that floating eyeball. Attack number two. And that will miss. Oh, wait a minute. No, she has advantage because she's just attacking recklessly. That was just the first one. Yeah, but you swung a second time. Yeah, because I have two attacks. Right. But when you're reckless, both of your attacks are at advantage. Oh. So roll again. Oh, that, yep, not any better. Nope. All right. How far up is... Uh, let me double check here. Uh, dead level uh, levels of the mesa are separated by a 10 foot high cliff, so it's 20 feet up. Okay. All right. You're going to see what the matter is. Ah! Charlie! And see what you. That's not bad. Oh, 
Is it far is it? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. A chromatic orb uh, at uh, I wasn't supposed to be whispered, but a thirteen doesn't hit Holly, does it? Nope. And I'm gonna move back a little bit here. Syra. She does have a little bit of color cover because of the angle of the cliffs. Right. I will bonus blade song. And I'm going to help Holly hopefully quickly dispatch this thing. To La Piera. 17 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, and hit number two. Twenty-one for ten more. All right, it's dead. Great. Then I ah! here. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight. Okay. All right. Gage. I think he's only got 30 feet, doesn't he? Can dash over there. Lasseter. Uh, oh. She's got cover, so so you can barely see like the top of her. Yeah. Um, so we give her a bonus of the AC. I don't know where two people are. I am going to blast her, blast at her. Um, okay. It's called the uh, Eldritch Blast. That'll hit. That will not hit. My hope is to distract her from my uh, possible teammates possibly running up to her. All right, Crad. You said each one of these takes 10 feet of movement? Uh, it is 10 feet high. Uh, yeah, climbing the cliff requires a uh, strict uh, athletic check. It's only 10 feet, so it's not terribly difficult. Yeah, I'm gonna go up. Okay, roll me athletic check. No, but... Uh, you do not make it up. What? Did I miss something? I would add about uh, 20 feet, or uh, one, two, three. I would, yeah, that would probably be
like 70 feet take it up to right next to the egg so if i move just like right here it would be within 60 feet yeah i would say you'd be able to all right drop invisibility because as you see like him appear um i'm subtly casting and transmuting it to cold with a guess web of fire Ooh. um it's an egg it's not gonna it's a deck save so it automatically fails it Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's going to be 12d6. <laughs> Alright. Cold damage. Can you link the spell for me, please? Can't remember the specifics of this. It's been a while since I've seen this spell cast. But I remember the description. So, pick whichever one. The 27 is for each pillar. Uh, the 45 is the single target. Okay. Oh. I need to look at the spell description. Yeah, oh, can you link the spell description? My apologies. Okay. All right. I'm assuming you're also going to target the Darrow? No. Oh, you're just putting everything? Everything into the egg. Okay. So, describe how this looks. So, he kind of just like slams his hands down onto the ground. And what looks like fire, but it's blue. And all, all like, erupts from around, his, like, his one hand, each finger, like, erupts. And, like, culminates into this, like, since he's targeting this one creature, it's all culminating into this one beam of a dragon's head. And shooting, like, kind of like maws open, just shooting straight towards the egg and going like like pretty much slamming straight into the egg so these uh, flaming dragon heads because it's technically still five uh kind of them all fly up one and just... yeah fly up and they kind of like all of a sudden just kind of coalesce into one and there's just a, like beam of cold fire that shoots down against the egg and the egg just shatters into pieces and goo and, and liquid just splatter around and seem to kind of like freeze up. The dragon egg is destroyed. Well, shall we take care of this Dara now that that's taken care of? I don't think mm -hmm. I can. I don't have a quick cast. So, that's my turn. All right. Holly. Holly. I'm going to go up here. Do uh, athletics checks, which she'll have advantage Finish on. Finish for Definitely pass that. Yep. You good on that? 
and then she's going to take out one of her javelins. I mean, she, I think she still has movement if she's dashing. Well, no, she's like, she won't be able to attack. So what she's going to do is instead throw a javelin. Yeah, going to jump up and throw the javelin. Okay, go ahead. And that just barely hits. She, because it's still 10 feet up, so she kind of has to glob it, and uh, it goes up and just barely hits hits the Daryl, but does a good, takes a good chunk of flesh off her. It's only 10 foot ore, so she's not in that yet. And then, so she's going to take out one more javelin that she has behind her back. I'm assuming they've all been behind her back. She has four. Yeah. And just yuck it again. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, actually, she doesn't get rage damage because they're not mage. Uh, they're not melee attacks. Uh, so... Nine. Uh, that hits. All right, perfect. Lasser, you can kind of see that there there's a bit of blood, and she's not looking good. Syra, she doesn't get a rage damage, but she keeps her rage. <laughs> yeah, she she attacked the creature, so she, it, it yeah. keeps her rage. That was the important part. Syra. Uh, so. I'm athletically not inclined, but could I hardcore parkour up the steps, up the cliff? Yeah, give me an athletic check. With acrobatics instead? Uh, give me an athletic check. <laughs> With acrobatics? <laughs> mm, no, that's, uh, th this is a strength athletics check. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> With acrobatics? Because <laughs> uh, believe it or not, parkour does take strength. Uh, I, I hate to say, if you were above and trying to parkour down, I could probably uh, get that. But when you're trying to go up, that requires some strength. Might be in your legs versus your hands or something like that. But uh, sadly, you try and and you're like trying to be all all fancy and everything, and and just. <laughs> kind of like your foot doesn't right quite get a hold and you kind of like just drop down to the ground. Not then to do damage or anything, but you just be like, shit. <laughs> it's okay. I had a, I had an easier way, but I was trying to be fancy. Um, so what did that cost me? Uh, my action? or? Uh, I would just say your movement. Okay, well... So each way up is 10 feet, you said? Mm-hmm. So if I were to bonus Misty Step. Hey, you could probably get up there easily. How far is the distance? Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet? Okay. Yeah. Probably uh, 10, 10. Yeah. I would say you'd be able to get to the top layer. Like great, like great here? Like great right here. Right there. Okay. No. But when you try trying to climb cost you your movement and failing. So you can't move. You can take it the dash action and your action. Uh, but you can't kind of peek around the corner from here. Well, so how shall I do? Oh, I forgot to have, have the Darrow do her turn. I'm not going to survive. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe she will. Enough. I'll probably go back to her after, after you go. Uh, well, I'm... let's try. I never get to use this. Let's cast slow on her. Or try to at least. 
It doesn't show what it does, because why would it? Let's say with. Mm. Nice thing about, I think, about uh, arrows. You're not very wise. Didn't, didn't you just do misty step? That's true, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah right. that's a point. Never mind. Do you have a ranged cantrip? I do. Yep, you are absolutely right. I can't do that. So yeah, I will mind sliver instead. Okay. Absolutely right. That's an intelligent oh, save. Intelligent save. Yeah, little, little smarter saves. And nothing happens. Okay. All right, that's it. All right. So she goes. Let's see here. A better idea. She she goes she sees that you're on the same level as she she is and disappears. She poofed. Uh, Gage is invisible. Uh, actually, he's he sees he see, saw Holly climb up and be like, "Oh, that looks easy." Uh, comes over here. Quick, Lux check. Ooh. Oh, makes it. You get up, and. He has a little bit of movement left. Yeah, he'll just... Uh, oh, I know. All of a sudden, a shadowy uh, version of Gage appears right here. Oh, wait a minute. It can be 15 feet, so... One, two. Yes, right there. All right, Lassiter. Uh, I'm going to run. Uh, five, ten, shit, five. Uh, he's gone. Can I cast detect magic? Sure. Use spell slot. Instantly cast it. What's the range? Thirty uh, feet. Thirty feet. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. Thirty feet. Okay. I'm going to give you a little aura here. I'm not a rogue. So I can't bonus action dash. 30 foot circle saves that even. Okay, cool. Uh, the only magic you currently detect are on your allies that have magic items. Uh, you do detect that there is something being affected by magic, which you to be your invisibility spell right there. Basically, you see where it gauges. Um, and otherwise, and of course, the shadow is magical, but you're, you've, you're familiar with this, having seen it before. But you don't detect anything else. That's my turn. All right. Crad. Mm. 
You're muted if you're saying anything. Alright, gonna try to get up. Okay, roll me an athletic check. <sighs> nope. Nope, you don't get up. So how much of that move of my move has that take? Uh, I would say by failing that check, you use all your movement. Oh, I could have done that. I forgot I had that spell when they did that. Ain't got much else, so that'll be my turn. I can't okay. see anything. Holly. She's gonna come up. Wow, both threes. Oh, she does not make it. And she drops her rage. She Charm. punches the wall. She yeah, attacks the yeah. wall <laughs> to keep her rage. I'm going to That's a turn. All right. Kieran is going to cast. Two. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's not your okay. turn yet. Okay. Uh, somebody you can't see is going. But uh, Lassiter, let's see. Uh, you see, you get a ping coming from here, and it seems to move over to here before disappearing again. I can't see where you're saying here. Okay, are they? Are, they, are you not seeing my pings? I might be having some lag. Oh, that's because I'm in the GM layer. Okay, hold on. Let me finish my movement. All right. All right. So you've. You had a ping from here, and it moved to here, and then disappeared what you would assume to be in this direction. Did you see those pings? Yes. Okay. I can't do anything. It's, my, it's not my turn. Sour. He is going to cast C Invisibility. All right. Cast C Invisibility. And you see Gage. You don't see anything else. From where you are. One, two, three, uh, I guess do a Perception check. To see if I will see anything. Hey. You can see the top of Adaro's headrest. And she'll look back to her friends and she, she's a little northwest of us. And I cast a spell. So that's up my action. So I'll move two steps. Uh, three, four, five, six. So since she's now downhill, could I hardcore parkour to her using acrobatics? Yeah, you can you can use acrobatics to get down. <laughs> down acrobatics is fine. Up, that's going to take strength. What if I ping pong it off her head? It's not going to give you any extra movement. Yeah, you can easily get down to one level. Uh, if you uh, go kind of in the direction of the stairs, you could kind of like hop onto the stairs and walk down. 
but that's not that's not hardcore parkour. But to go down the regular another cliff, you would need to make another acrobatic check. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> Why not? Pretty good at uh, acrobatic, so there you are. No problem. Point landing. <laughs> and I'll call out that she's next to me here. She's to my left. And that's all I can do because I have no bonus action I can do. I have no action I can do. All right. Which left? <laughs> we can't see you. Uh -oh. Gage is going to uh, head this I'm, direction. I'm facing towards her. A uh, athletic check to jump down. Uh, he kind of stumbles, but he makes it down. Uh, he's going to send this. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me take a look at her feature. The echo is moving this way, and I'm going to say it, it goes down just fine <laughs> because it's an echo. Um, then he's going to ready in action. Lassiter. Uh, I'll ready a witch bolt if, um, or if I get a ping, like, right here specifically. Okay. Like, any, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, so if you you can come in range, uh, if they if they're visible, it's still at disadvantage. So, um, all right, Sarah, she's running away from you, but you can see her, so you can make a uh, attack. Uh, do I have Warcaster? I believe I do. Yes, I do. So I can do uh, Green Thorn Blade. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, guess what happens? <laughs> All right, roll for me. All right, so is it my roll? Uh, with my, my rapier? Uh, what, it, what does the rapier say for the uh, polymorph effect? When you attack a creature with this magic weapon, roll a 20. Yes. On the attack roll, the creature must make a DC 15. Oh, that's right. Throw. It makes a save. Okay. So what, what type of save? Wisdom. And saving throw? Oh. No. Do you need to make a roll to figure out what he polymorphs to? On a failed Please. save, the creature also suffers the effect of polymorph. Roll a D20 and consult the table. So, want me or you to do it? You to do it. Your weapon. Okay. Here we go. D20 is a nine. He turns into a black bear. <laughs> All right. So, definitely becomes visible. Uh, 
just happens. Just gonna move the her to the side for right now. Okay, and how much was the damage? Uh, ten plus so twenty one. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> here's what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> She swing with the sword, or, or or you poke her poke her with the sword. But instead of poking with the sword, all of a sudden she turns into a black bear. Your sword keeps going into the black bear, and uh, immediately as it goes into the black bear, it turns back into. <laughs> and they're they're still alive. They're hurt. They're not looking great. But they're still alive. And for anybody else that might have seen that, there, there was nothing, and then suddenly a bear, and then. <laughs> so the only person who saw that was Syra. <laughs> I didn't oh even need. God. I didn't even need them bring that black bear out. It's hilarious. That's why I love this weapon. It's just chaotic when it hurts. <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh, he had advantage on the saving throw. Oh well, it's fine. Rob. I believe it's Karad's turn. She, no, she's not done yet. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I think I move things things down. I, I, oh, yeah, because I was doing it after Gage. Or I hadn't done Plinky's turn, so I, I was doing it again. Doing her turn. I think. I don't know. I was doing her turn. She was running away. Uh, so she's going to cast the spell on herself. And she needs to roll d20. Uh, oh, cool. Um, so she uh, blinks out of existence. So Gage uh, sees the Dara run around the corner, then uh, cast something on herself and disappear. Uh, Syrah, uh, she's out of your eyesight, but she does that. Now, Lassiter. <laughs> you saw, you saw, uh, her, she cast a spell and she disappeared again. I'll try to move past, uh, Gage. Five, seven, fifteen, twenty, twenty. You do not detect anything. She is literally blinked out of existence. Guys, she's gone. I'll move up one more. Nothing. I'm, I'm pretty much just trying to make sure. I, I realize you said that she's gone, but Lassiter is just checking. That's fine. Brad. Brad. Crad. 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 Gotta say that right. Move there. After hearing everything that's going on, knowing I can't get up clips worth shit. You can if you try. Hard enough. We have tried. Did you try hard enough? Up here and... Prepare a fireball to kiss she appears. Alright, Holly. Everybody's basically kind of abandoned you and went around the other side. Right here. Just 
just skirting this edge here. Just just looking around. Yep. Didn't see anything. If anything gets in range, attack it. Alright. She blinks back into existence. She appears right here. Actually, she appears down here. Uh, my witch bolt. Was that for last turn? Yep. Crap. <laughs> oh, fireball. By the way, you expend that spell slot. Yeah. So, fireball. Yeah, go ahead. She's down on the ground, by the way. You can, you can kind of see your battle hit. And you fire her, fire and hit her directly in the head. Head and she keels over. And the game. Da -da 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 -da. That's not what I do. I yeah. Here we are. Someone mentioned uh, speak to the dead earlier. Yeah. So. Gotta get on that. So, do that. Like, do we want to, like, anything specific we want to know? What was she doing? Mm -hmm. Uh. Why, why were the, that, why was yep. the egg involved? Just do calm, calm, calm. We got five questions we can ask. Uh, what is this obsidian rock? What, what was she doing with it? Who, what was she what, doing where, here? Where, 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 where. Why did she have the dragon egg? Why the egg? Who is she working for? Or with working with um, uh, we know she was part of the cult from the flu the uh, slump uh, what else? oh well let me figure this stuff out because it lasts for 10 minutes I'm going to go ahead and kind of reach into the bag to touch the stone speaker's crystal to spend four charges and do speak with dead. Speak with dead. Uh, so gather yeah, up, put her in a, a position so her head is, which has this huge burn mark on part of it. Still smoldering. And uh, you cast Speak with Dead. And here's the thing is, uh, with using it doing through the Stone Speaker's Crystal, it doesn't require reagents. Uh, you see kind of this wispy white magic kind of flow into her, and then her lungs expand. Go ahead and ask your question. So, ask. What was your goal right now, doing here? Like, what were you doing here? Diabolisk. Magic. Teleport. Um, Syra will check her body, I guess, for that object that fell out of the obelisk. There, there were. What were you doing? I'm sorry. Uh, that object that fell out of the obelisk that she picked up. She was, so I was gonna, would 
just kind of check her body to see if she can find it. She just snatched an object from the ground and wrote something in a small notebook. Uh, so it wasn't necessarily anything that falls out. Okay, so look for the notebook then. Um, yeah, the notebook Uh, it, the, where did I put the note? Uh, it's actually written in Dwarvish, by the way. Okay. Well, so yeah, I was going to look for that while Corrado was asking him for it, his question. What's the next question? What importance did the dragon egg have? Grey ghost brought. Wasn't told. Where does the obelisk teleport to? Not sure. The sea shards turn fleet. What is your group's ultimate goal? Complete obelisk. Be havoc. Anyone have another question? Because that's where I'm down to our last one. Um, by now, would I have found a notebook? Oh, uh, wreak havoc, conquer Grackle Stuke. Where's your uh, main base, maybe? Base of operations? Main lair. Does Karad ask that question? Well, I was saying if like Syrah had an like an idea. Well, I was gonna say if I if I found the notebook while you were asking the, the other questions and saw that it was in Dwarvish, I would have come over and showed it to you. See if we can learn something before we ask the last question. Well, let me try reading it quick. Uh, just glancing through it, uh, it seems to be like research notes. Um, about the metal being of some alien origin, um, and that it looks like it's been uh, uh, damaged uh, at a time. Uh, they be she believes that the um, obelisk was hitting here by uh, Drinka. 
which is the Darrow God. And it contains some sort of imaginal power, but they're not sure what it is uh, until they actually uh, uh, repair it. Uh, it seems like any missing pieces, uh, if you touch it, it will like absorb it and actually potentially heal itself a little bit. Yeah, oh, oh, here it is. This is what I'm looking for. Um, the notebook contains dwarvish, dwarvish writings, specifically a list of random items, including coins and jewelry. There are no dates, but some entries appear in different handwriting. The last entry indicates the miraculous appearance of a gold coin. I'll just go with Lassiter's question. Here. Did you say here? Here. here. Cave or here in Grackle Stug? Yeah, I think in since they're trying to conquer Grackle Stug. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, it's a inside cult. Um. Does does your uh, does your church or people have anything against any other religious people here? Not really a church, more of an order. Okay. Uh, anyways, the question. Again, we. we... Don't we're not a church, we're an order, so we really wouldn't have much against other religions. Okay, maybe not religions, but groups. Besides what I know? The... Uh, the di you would know, like the Darrow and the Darrow Savants aren't very happy about the Dwarvish rule of Stug. Stug. Um, they mostly, uh, deal with it, <laughs> but they're, they're not happy. They basically, it seems like what you could into it from all this is, uh, the Darrow had a scheme to, to basically maybe kill the, the king and take over Grackle's Duke from, from the Darrow guard. But that's also seems... Oh, okay. Another Tuesday. It sounds like, a, yeah, it's, this is, like, higher up from, from, uh, like, big, de uh, big plans, uh, instead of the normal, this is what the Darrow would want in general. But they, there's plenty of Darrow who, while they don't like the current situation, they don't, they don't really, they're not going to do anything to, to, to really disrupt the status quo uh, unless they get in, get some sort of minor advantage. This was an attempt to get that, that advantage, but well, uh, you probably might have killed all the Darrow that are down here. Who knows? Uh, uh, I think you might have. Oh. <laughs> You're like, let, let me look, actually. <laughs> let me look at the map. Uh, yeah, no, actually, I think you did. Yeah, I'm getting some major lag here. I apologize for any weirdness on the stream. Because my computer is lagging. Especially in the maps, but... 
Well, do y'all wanna like uh, <laughs> um go around the remaining of the cave or go back to whomever with the information that we got? Uh, do you? I, I'm I'm just gonna say this because nobody has specifically said it, but based off of what Cyra asked, are you actually going to search loot the body? Yes. Okay, you do also find, in addition to the book, a stick of charcoal and a single gold coin. Okay. Um, unless anyone wants to do a spread the cloth lot, I'll ritual cast detect magic on it. Okay. You yeah. uh, cast Detect Magic, and you detect that the uh, obelisk is magic-ish. Uh, it seems like there's magic to it, but it's not working. Uh, the coin does not have any magic. Magic adjacent? Uh, if you do, do inspect the obelisk, it actually looks like the same stone that you found the, with the lump of stone that the Grego said. And then I in the will... apothecary the apothecary had, I should say. So there's no magic coming from the coin. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a history check. Uh I would I would say that you would probably get an idea that this is an old coin and is and the by the looks of it looks like it was something from the surface. Um, it's not a coin that you recognize from modern day, so it might have been a coin from a long time ago. Hey, uh, she'll show it to the group and see if they can identify it. Anybody else want to roll a history check? Sure, uh, but I have a separate. Question. Yeah. Um, do we still have that one coin that um Roderick was given by a random merchant? Yeah, that would be in the bag of holding, I think. Yeah. Um. Does it look familiar? Not as familiar, but like similar. Nope. Or Uh, history 12. Looks like an old gold coin. Uh, not something that was minted recently. Maybe we have a history buff in our, uh, group. If not, we could have had someone up there. Maybe but it does look like it, it doesn't... Uh, Karad would be able to tell that this is not a Underdark coin. This is something from the surface. Oh. And we don't recognize it? You said? Nope. Your history check was too low. Nothing to do left, uh, left to do except for go home, sink on it, and uh, maybe. Uh, I, I would say that that also, Crad, might, you you might be able to show maybe even uh, show the coin and maybe even the notebook to somebody on the surface or in, outside the tunnels, like Grecklestug, and they might at least have uh, some other idea. You might even be able to get a reward out of it. Okay. So, there, there are people in the Blade Bazaar that sometimes are looking for some weird stuff. And about where the dragon egg was, it, it he had, uh, Carter had destroyed it. Yep, completely destroyed. Uh, frozen pieces of uh, slowly melting of uh, pieces of eggshell and and frozen. You. Hmm. 
be vivified. <laughs> Don't think you can revivify that. Uh, so mm. Do I even have revivify? You're high enough level, I think. Yeah. I think it's level three. Level three spell. And that's within a minute. And with the ritual, it's well over a minute. And she don't have the components for it. Yeah, yeah because you need a diamond. Or 300 gold pieces of diamonds. Yeah. Oh, hey. I don't have a revivify. Repair. No, not not even. Uh... And your cleric spells? Oh, oh, that's because you're not high enough level for third level cleric spells. Yeah. Because you're only level three cleric. Yeah. Level three does not mean level three spell. No, level it, you won't get level three spells. For uh, until you get high enough level in cleric. And stop to asking me what what level <laughs> level uh, class. Fifth level clerics get uh, third level spells. Okay. Well, uh, I guess uh, let's decide who to go ask for help on this. I might know some people in the in the. Uh, bizarre that can might know some stuff about those things. You know people in the bazaar? Yeah, I live here. Just because you live somewhere doesn't mean you go anywhere. Just looking at you weird, like, what? You just strike me as the type of person that would stay in, um, the house all the time and do your chores but you obviously know someone outside so I was wrong don't like you feel like what is wrong with you let's go all right so to kind of expedite this because we're getting to the end of the end of the show. Um, you uh, are able to get back up to uh, back to your egress easily enough and get back to the surface of Grackle Uh I, I say surface because you go up but you're still in the underdark. And did you want to check the Blade Bazaar? Did you want to go rest? It seems to have been several hours while you were in the, in the uh, World Sun, Stone Tunnels. So you're back at the Dark Lake docks. Let's say go to the, the bazaar. Um, I would have, like, because but the, like we'd go through the bazaar to get to the lair. So might as well stop and ask. Yeah, okay. So... Uh, in the bazaar, uh, asking around for what merchants you have, you find a, uh, a Durgar, which uh, you've you've met. You're not like too familiar, but you know of her. Uh, a Karad uh, is Zell Yensik, who is a female Durgar member of the Merchant Council. Uh, you know she's a can caravan master and uh, prides herself on always arriving at her destination ahead of schedule. Um. And uh, if you inquire with her, she she goes, hey, come here. And she takes you into a office where um, she shows you, it says, let me see that coin. And she opens up a uh, hoard of what looks like mixed coinage, uh, three gold rings and uh, a few... Necklaces, uh, gem inlaid necklaces, and she kind of compares a couple of the coins. And she says, "says uh, attract these two, these pieces to some debtors who use them to pay for food." Ah, oh, how do you think they got this? 
according to their notes, it just miraculously appeared. The notes? It, it, it seemed to appear from an obelisk, like this obsidian, obsidian stone. Well, where is that? Deep in the, in the tunnels underground, but we found some notes in a from a notebook. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Do you give her the uh, notebook? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If everyone else thinks it's a good idea, sure. All right. She'll look through and kind of flip through the notebook. Uh, Libet says, "Ah, yes. This is perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for." Uh, we'll definitely have some people look at that, look at that obelisk. Uh, thank you for letting us know. Um, here, uh, and she will let's see what. Else. Let's do this. All right. So, All right. She will give you a uh, two hundred and fifty gold, being like for this information. I would like to reward you with this, and gives you a pouch which has two hundred and fifty gold pieces in it. Righteous. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I see some of you are f surface dwellers. Are you trying to get back to the surface? Yes. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. Uh, a couple of pieces of advice for you that might help you out. I can't help you get to the surface, sadly. Uh, but there are some routes uh, in uh, routes to get to the surface, in both Blindenstone and a place known as Worm Risings. And she'll get out a map of Enderdark. And we'll go over there. And uh, i got to remember where some of these things are. There's Blinden Stone, which is on the way from... They so go now. There were like groves on the way to Blingdon Stone. And do I have worm writhings on here? Oh yeah, uh, and some in this area, the worm writhings. So kind of close to to Blingdon Stone. Okay. And there's your, and there the. To open the way or whatever. Oh no, no! There, uh, especially in Blingdenstone, you might be able to find some guides. I, I don't recommend trying to make it all the way to the passage to Gontogrim uh, alone. I would recommend you'd probably go to a Blingdenstone. Gontogrim uh, is known for some some of the surface dwarfs. They're not the kind of people. Which, after talking, to, having that you have a companion known as Eldith, who is a shield dwarf, uh, she would be aware that, that no, they're actually, would definitely be able to help you, people get to the surface. Thank you for your information. But Bling in Stone's probably the closer of the two. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll thank her for her information and gold and how much did she give you? She she gave the group two hundred and fifty gold. I added it to the ledger. And then I guess Karag would want to go tell Thumberchart about the egg. Yeah. But it is time for sleep. Alright. You know where we will be. 
All right. So uh, we'll we'll leave it at this. Let's say you go back to the uh, lair uh, to get some rest. Uh, and we will deal with Karad next week because we're at time. So. Thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry for any drop frames. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the lag. Have a good night. And